Welcome back, everybody. You are just in time for What's Hot, where we talk about the stories that have everybody talking. We are joined today by Susie Falk with the Falk Group Public Relations, and Jeff Wagner is back. It is considered a national epidemic. Aging prisoners and the medical cost of inmates in prison hospitals could result in money being borrowed from other areas of government, and that, of course, would affect all of us. I think the, the, the cost um, to maintain prisoners, medical included, has been a topic, an issue for quite a while. It's been a dilemma, along with the overcrowding in prisons. Well, it, it is. Now, the flip side is, um, okay, so you release people that, that have medical issues. Well, the taxpayer is going to be paying for the medical issues anyways. I mean, here's the problem. Okay, Charles Manson, really old. Do you want to parole him? Do you want to take that 75-year-old child rapist and, and parole him, let him out because, well, they're 75 years old, they've got health issues, mm -hmm. and then six months later, they've molested another child? I mean, do, do you really want to have that happen? That's the problem. Yeah. Well, and I think that maybe we need to look at whether they're nonviolent offenders. What, what, what kind, why are they in prison? and have they served their time and maybe we could have some sort of an age limit if they've done their 10 years and or 12 years or 62 it's time to let them out I, you know not that they won't cost us anything they will cost us something but i, I don't i don't know the, the healthcare system is is overwrought with us let alone add prisoners to that it's just very expensive and and now all these prisoners are aging it's it's a hard spot to be in but i, mean, I don't know you see shawshank redemption i do feel sorry for that <laughs> what guy. do you do though when you have a population in prison that's equivalent to you know a medium-sized state in this country mm -hmm. they need to be paid for well yeah there, there's no question about it and then you also have to balance the idea of of trying to predict Okay, the guy's 65 years old. He's been in jail for the last, you know, 30 years. Committed all sorts of violent crimes. Do we release him into society, figuring he's rehabilitated, or at the age of 65 he's different than he was at the age of 35? That's a gamble, do, too. Right. That, right. That's a, do mm -hmm. we take the risk? Because again, you make that mistake. You let that person out, and they do something really horrible. Well, okay, that that ends political careers. Mm -hmm. That ends government careers. You know, that's, oh, this that's is the balance. And this is why nobody's made a decision. It's, right, because it's, it's, it's more expensive, but it's easier it's to keep tricky. them incarcerated. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It's extraordinarily complicated. All right, coming up next, parents <laughs> have to sign a permission slip for just about everything, even for just letting your child play outside. We will talk about one such permission slip coming up. Now more of what's hot. Somebody needs to. Again, we're joined by Susie Falk and Jeff Wagner from News Radio 620 WTMJ. A diner owner is bringing racism to light in Britain. She put up a sign that says she's a black woman and she doesn't bite. Yeah, she says she's fed up with people walking out of her restaurant when they see the color of her skin. Apparently, she had someone else serve the customers who was white, and they did really well. And then she went out and served customers, and they didn't make as much money, and people were leaving and that kind of a thing. Maybe she's just not a nice person. <laughs> it's, it, well, it's nice to see her diffuse it ahead of, ahead of time, but it's sad that she has to. Yeah, I guess, I, I mean, I think two things. First of all, I mean, obviously, if, if the food is good, who cares? Right. I, I, but, you know, <laughs> you know, who, who cares? Who's cooking it? The food is great. You know, bring, bring it on. Um, but I, I think the other thing is, the, the bigger picture here is, um, in, in Britain and a couple of the European countries, th this is becoming more and more of the story because for years and years there's been a lot of you know immigration, pretty much open things, and, and now this is part of the problem as jobs get tighter, lots and lots of people are starting to act out in ways that I think would be completely and totally considered to be inappropriate. But I well, think this is probably more prevalent than people might you think. You can't forget, too, I mean, just a few months ago there was a horrible Islamic incident on the streets of Britain where, yeah. you know, the... the uh, black person unfortunately was um, um, arrested for having hacked a white person and right. you know mm -hmm. I mean unfortunately that was, that's a hideous thing but uh, we and we don't understand the full extent of racism in that co in that country and it's but, a small town I mean this is it, not right. London You're my guess is that there aren't a lot area. of black owned restaurants in this right. little town but um, you know I, I wish the community would come together and just sample the food and if it's good yeah. visit and and enjoy it and I, I wish that she if if it's if she could relax and and just get to know her patrons and um, you know right. hopefully she's a nice person and everybody will realize the food is good. All right third topic uh, there seems to be a permission slip just about <laughs> for everything when it comes to your child. <laughs> One parent posted such permission slip she had to sign saying quote I understand that my child may come in contact with the ground through play and activity. It also stated my child could get their clothes and shoes wet or dirty. Also it, something about like while out in nature they'll see like Could see birds and animals and in a new and enlightening birds. way. Well, yeah, this was a precondition to the kids being allowed to go outside and play oh at recess on the playground. 
<laughs> well, you know, as a teacher, I get it. I don't want to hear from 30 parents saying, my kid came home with grass stains on their jeans today. Yeah. That's the last thing. Well, I and we're hear. a lawsuit happy society, and then, you know, people so fall down. So you're going to sue because your kid saw a bird? <laughs> no, but, you know, they come in contact with the ground, they break their leg, ankle, whatever, and there's a lawsuit. And so this just, this gets the, the parents off the school's back, and probably some consultant to the school was having fun with it, thinking this is a little ridiculous, but okay, let's just throw it all out there. When I was a kid. Back in the day, oh, yeah. back in the day, we played with jarts. You know those lawn darts yes. that you know you'd, you'd have like the thing. My brother and I, we'd be chucking those things uh -huh. at each other. No permission slips. No for that. permission right. slips. No nothing. Just go out and do that. And somehow, some way, we survived jarts. So it if is we used to whip marbles at each other. It is very interesting that. where we are as a society had, right now. We had so. BB guns, Jeff. We uh -huh. had bow and arrows. Mm -hmm. And yet we survive. All mm -hmm. kinds of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. I tell you, they're for the grace of and God. And we came yeah. in contact with the ground. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.